count on a good price. Everstart. The name says it all. Mother, we're going shopping for wallpaper. They'd be gone for hours. No one makes finding the wallpaper you want faster and easier than your Sherwin-Williams store. Okay, girls, Jack's are better, trips to win, deuces wild. Sherwin-Williams exclusive service can access thousands of patterns finding you what you want in no time. I am hot. Hey, Sherwin-Williams. Mother? New Sunworthy Sculptured Edged Borders. Free cut to shape, only $9.99 while supplies last. Your Sherwin-Williams store, where to get it. The new program schedule on the Weather Channel makes it easy to get exactly the information you need. Weather scope on the hour and half hour. Your local forecast on the eights of every hour. Travel-wise at 10 and 40 past. The five-day planner at 20 past. The weekend outlook at 15 and 45 past. And a storm update at 50 past. It's easy to use. The new program schedule on the Weather Channel. In this half hour, Weatherscope, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, TravelWise gives you the latest on travel hotspots. Then the weekend outlook. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. This weather scope is sponsored by Kellogg's, the best to you each morning. This is weather scope. Well, it's going to be a stormy day for many of you in the northeast. We have low pressure developing south of Cape Cod, and as it strengthens, uh, we'll be looking for heavy rain and high winds and mountain snow on this Friday. Good morning. I'm Rick Griffin. And I'm Mark Mayan So, And yesterday in western New York, Buffalo had a taste of that wintry weather, and we saw some snow yesterday morning. And as a result, the morning commute was a wet one. It was a light uh, but steady snow that changed to rain in the afternoon. And as temperatures rose, uh, into the low and mid 30s uh, didn't have many problems just on the grassy surfaces uh, today buffalo kind of cloudy and cool some flurries around temperatures will hover in the 30s to near 40. as we take a look at the satellite radar composite for you well low pressure is winding up off the south coast of new england we can see the conveyor belt of moisture coming up into the northeast so we're seeing rain firing up into eastern new england but to the west here the flow is from the north and the northwest and uh, we're doing all we can with the available cold air. Rain and snow mixture in eastern Pennsylvania, and we have valley rain mountain snows here up in far northern New England. But even down the valley, still a little bit of cold air trapped on in, um, in Lebanon. 
we are looking at some wet snow, but at Montpelier, we had some wet snow and it's gone to rain. So in the higher summits here, it'll be snow, but down the lower terrain, mainly rain and certainly all rain on the coast here as the mild Atlantic air flows on in. Down to the south here with that northwesterly flow, we do see some wet snowflakes coming on in with the rain here. That's why you see this darker shade of red and yellow. That's not a severe thunderstorm. That is just a w wet snowflakes uh, melting precipitation in through here. So just kind of a sloppy mess. And again, in the higher terrain, there is the potential for some accumulations. It looks like the heaviest snows, though, probably will be falling here in the higher terrain of northeastern New York. There is a low pressure winding up at the surface. Mild Atlantic air coming in in the 40s. Uh, just uh, too warm for any problems here in the big cities. But in the interior and the higher terrain, could be a different story. Winds will be picking up with time as the low intensifies and eventually we'll have gale force and storm force winds. While down to the south, the uh, clear crisp morning, already some record lows coming in. While off to the west, showers and thunderstorms marching through south Texas. Here you can see that wet weather where we've seen it all week from Corpus southward down to Brownsville. High pressure though over the south of the northerly flow. Record cold in Atlanta this morning. Rick. Meanwhile, Mark, uh, the west remains mild to warm today, and some of you could see shower and thunderstorm activity, particularly in Texas, Arizona, and uh, also portions of the northern uh, plains. Let's go to the map, because on the weather map this morning on the northern plains, a few showers are roaming about, particularly in southern North Dakota and north central South Dakota, as well as a few sprinkles in Wisconsin, not showing up on the map. but. Uh, we do have some moisture in the Badger State right now and reports of sprinkles and maybe even a few snow flurries in the northeastern corner of the state at the moment. In contrast, fair weather down towards St. Louis and partly cloudy skies right now in Kansas City. Now there's a weak front moving through uh, the Dakotas this morning and as you can see there's some enhanced, uh, enhanced cloudiness with that. The brighter the white here on the infrared satellite picture, the higher the cloud tops extend into the atmosphere, the better chance, at least in this case, they're producing precipitation. And yeah, on radar, we see that steady rain right here, so, uh, south of Bismarck and south of Jamestown, North Dakota, just south of Interstate 94 here in North Dakota. This area of precipitation easing east at about 25 to 30 miles an hour. Additional showers near Pier and out towards Rapid City in the western part of the state. And here's that very light spotty precipitation over parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. Uh, the area right here, we see precipitation in most cases not reaching the surface or in, bet in between reporting stations, but we have had uh, a few reports of sprinkles and flurries in Wisconsin. Right now, fair skies though, 17 degrees at Marquette. Compare that with 50 in Kansas City, 45 Grand Island, Nebraska, 50 in Salt Lake at 70 now in Phoenix, and you're headed for 90 degree warmth this afternoon. Quick look at the water vapor shows that system approaching the west coast. Now, will the showers in the northern plains affect the flooded out areas of the Dakotas and Minnesota? Here's Mark with a flood forecast. Okay, thank you, Rick. And here's an update on the rivers. River levels compared to flood stage as of the 17th in the white there and the date of expected crest in the yellow. Notice uh, on the Red River near Fargo there, we are s still running uh, 22 feet above flood stage, the river at all-time record highs there, and there you can see the flow up towards Grand Forks, where we're looking at the river levels rising still. Let's take you into Grand Forks, North Dakota, where workers yesterday scrambled to plug up a leaking dike. A potato conveyor belt was used to carry sandbags to the trouble spot. It's feared the Red River will flood low-lying sections of the city's south side. About 250 homes are threatened in Grand Forks, North Dakota. That's your latest with, latest with the flood forecast. Now let's take a look at the weather for today. And here's Rick with the details. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. Good morning, forecast time. Let's start with the weather maps. Headlines in the Northeast, big spring storm winding up. And with it, of course, we are projecting high winds, heavy rain, and moderately heavy mountain snow, particularly in Vermont and upstate New York and the Adirondacks. Look at the high in the southeast, though. Also the Ohio Valley, and with the high pressure system, mostly stable weather conditions. After some record chill this morning in a few spots, including, I believe, Atlanta, 
We're going to see 60s and 70s this afternoon. A few showers in Minnesota and Iowa, probably not enough to aggravate the flooding situation. Additional showers in Texas spreading into New Mexico and parts of Arizona this afternoon. And a little more wet stuff from Idaho in the northern sections of California. Northeast again, blustery, rain heavy at times, Portland to Boston. Here's the snow area, mainly in New York. We'll probably ease that east into the mountains of Vermont as we update the forecast. Heaviest snows could be as